In this lesson, we will use US Selection 2020 dataset and by using pandas, we will analyze our data. The file is given in the form of CSV file and these are the five requirements or you can say simply questions where we have to work. So first of all, we have to import pandas as PD. Right, so write down like this here, whatever word you can use, but normally we use PD, so you can use PD as well. Just run it, it will execute it successfully. Our next step is to give some name to our data frame. So as we are working on US election, that is why I have given the name US underscore election, which is equal to PD, whatever name you have used here, exact same name you have to use here, dot read underscore CSV. This function you have to use in order to import your file here. In parenthesis, you have to give the path. So for path, I will show you, you have to go wherever you have used your data file. Here is my data file, US election 2020. Just right click here. The last one is the properties. Click on properties, go to the security, and here is the path. At the end, you can see the extension, which is CSV. That that is great because it is saved in the comma separated values. Select this, plus press control V on your keyboard. It will be copy and then you have to press control V in order to paste it. When we will run this, you will see sometimes the Unicode error. So do not worry if you will see this error, just write down R in front of this C and then run it. You will see the error has gone. Now, if you want to see that your data is imported successfully, just write down the name of your data frame, which is US underscore election, and then run it, you will see our data is there. Right, see, this is our data. All the columns are there. If you want to see, just scroll to the right, and you will see our all the columns. Vertically, we have columns, and here we have rows. If you want to see the shape, shape means how many rows and how many columns you have, then you have to use the shape function. Write down your data frame name and then dot shape. It will give you the rows and column. The first one represents the number of rows and the second one is number of columns. So we have only 52 rows in our, or you can say 52 records. Now, if you want to see, suppose only top two records, you have to use the head function. When you will run it, head function, we have discussed so many times, dot head and then C2. So you will see only two records, top two records. If you will not write down anything, it's up to you. If you want, you can write down 50, 10, 20. Now this is your homework you have to try. If you will not write down anything, just run it. It will show you by default the top five. And keep in mind here is the index and index always starts with one. Similarly, if you want to check some bottom record, so then you have to use tail. If you will not write down here in the parenthesis by default, it will give you the record of last five records. Right? Okay. So see, you will notice here that at the top when we use the, I will show you, shape function. Here it says 52 records, right? But here is 51. Why? Because index is start with zero. If we will start with zero, it will show you the last one is 51. But if you will start from one, one is there are 52 records, but index we have to count by index. Okay. Now is not null values of each column. So you have to use not null dot sum function. When you will run it, you will see in a state column, there are 52 values. It means nothing is missing. In source, we have 40 values. It means 20 are missing. Official, unofficial, there are 25 values are there. Remaining are missing means 27 are missing values because it shows not null values of each column. Now, if you want to see the null, right, this is, so then you have to use is null. Not null will give you not null, but is null. Okay, I will just delete this from here and I will show you if you are using only is null, it will give you the output in the form of Boolean, true and false. False means here we do not have any null values. True means yes, we have null values. But if you want to check your record in the form of data frame, then you have to write down dot sum function. It will give you 
each and every column see state zero source as i have told you here that source there are 40 not null values so definitely 12 are missing in official or unofficial 27 are missing missing means uh, null values means missing values important thing here overseas eligible write this column there are 51 missing values so i will show you if you want to remove or drop the column so i will show you how to do it now we are going to start our question number one set heading caption of the data frame initially we do not have any name of our database if you want to give some name such as here i am using us election detail so this is the syntax you have to write down your data frame name then you have to use dot style dot set underscore caption in parenthesis write down the name whatever name you are going to use for caption first of all i will show you here by running only one record that there is nothing there is no caption no heading of your database right so we have to follow the same syntax here this is c data frame name our data frame name is us underscore election dot style dot set underscore caption here i have used this caption when i will run this you will see now our database has some caption us election detail how simple it is right so you can see that our database has now heading or caption question number two show all the states of us similarly you can write down whatever column name you want to see first of all you have to write down data frame name just like this data frame name and then column name here we want to use a state but i will show you first all the columns i am going to show you a state because this is the requirement then you have to apply the same function on source and other columns whatever you want so when i will run it this you will see all the states are there and again index starts with 50 sorry 0 that is why the end is 51 okay now question number 3 show the records of some states records of election of some states right so you have to follow the same syntax important thing is you have to use is in function right because in a state there are 51 states so is in function how you have to use write down your data frame name just follow this syntax right a square bracket and then this election name in parenthesis write down the column state column dot is in here i am going to use west virginia new york and california record now after this you have to practice making five records six records or two records one by one right see so california new york and west virginia the election results are there unofficial official vote for highest office president VEP turnover turnout rate and so on right all the record is there okay now now we will move to next question okay before going to the next question i will show you one thing here just for your explanation first i want to make this comment and remove this okay so here i will show you first the our data frame because i am going to use i am going to use uh, which column probation column see here us election dot group by state and dot probation dot sum right this column i am going to use what is my function dot probation probation dot sum when i will run it you will see the output there is no grouping right that is why group by we have discussed so many times but here i am going to show you the last part not this part the result is there but if if I am using exactly the same syntax, only the column name is different. See, here is dot probation, here is dot VEP turnout rate. When I will run this, there is error, invalid syntax. Now, what is the problem? Why this is, both are exactly same, only the column name is different and it says invalid syntax. So, this is the important point. And here, if I will write down same exactly same but this column name instead of dot column name i have used the square bracket run it it is working so question is when you have to use dot 
column name when you have to write down column name in the square bracket this is most important thing so i will show you here c provision is only one word if even it is two words but both words are joined by underscore if it says provision underscore election then you have to use dot but here you can see these are three different words and there are spaces if there is a space between the words then you have to use the square bracket right if it will be vep underscore turnout underscore rate it means there is no space then you can use dot and it will work but if there is a space then you have to use a square bracket if there is no space then you have to use dot right this is one of the most important thing otherwise there will be problem and this is the same same everything is same but what i am going to explain you of this and this only the only the uh, column name is different but it will give you the result alphabetically this one or this one will give you even this one mean the result will be in alphabetical order now again it is your homework if you want to see in ascending or descending then you have to write down ascending is equal to false or run it then it will show you if you want to check top 5 records then at the end you have to write down dot head and in parenthesis whatever you want or dot tail and whatever you want because we have discussed head and tail so many times question number 4 is drop overseas eligible column as i have told you that there are 51 missing values i will show you which column we are going to delete so see here this one overseas eligible right we want to delete this column so for remove this column you have to use drop function us underscore election dot drop in parenthesis whatever you want to drop write down and then comma access is equal to one what is the meaning of access is equal to one x one is means column if you want to delete some column or drop some column then you have to use access is equal to one if you want to drop row then access is equal to zero zero is rows one is column here we are going to drop column so run it see here when i will check this at the end whether it is dropped or not this column see i will scroll here go yes see here it is gone we do not have that column but if we want to verify if whether it is permanently deleted from our database or data frame or not right when i will run to check election only by taking one record so see it is still there it means it is drop only for this coding after this again it is there if you want to delete or drop permanently from your database then you have to use in place is equal to true right so after access is equal to 1 comma in place is equal to true run this it is successfully executed now i am going to check it or verify again see it's gone permanently so if you want to delete permanently from your data frame you have to write down in place is equal to true last question is for you you have to do this because when you will involve you will learn more here i am going to show you give you some clues how to do it add a suffix to the column name or a prefix to the column name this is the syntax you have to write down your data frame name which is equal to df dot add underscore suffix if you want to suffix add suffix then in parenthesis write down in quotation underscore and value prefix add underscore prefix first you have to write down in quotation value and then underscore so here i have written the same syntax i am not going to execute it why because i want to involve you the first one is for suffix when you will see the result make this comment remove this number hashtag from here and run it for prefix if it is not working i will show you in the next lesson